What's going on, Dodgers Nation? DMAC here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. Quick reminder for all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, on your takes down below in the comment section, today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Which other former Dodgers that aren't in the Hall of Fame do you think deserve a spot? The Fernando Valenzuela's, the Oral Hershizers of the world, do you think they should be in the Hall of Fame? And also, what current Dodgers do you think will make it to Cooperstown one day? Let me know down below in the comment section. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So it's been long overdue, but finally, Gilbert Raymond Hodges is a Hall of Famer. The Hall of Fame tweet out, welcome to Cooperstown, Gil Hodges. So it's long overdue, but he's finally in, and that's all that matters. And he becomes the first Dodger to be inducted into the Hall of Fame since Dodgers legend Jim Tomey back in 2018. I still can't believe that Jim Tomey didn't go into Cooperstown wearing a Dodgers hat. No, but seriously, this is a big day for the Dodgers. To have Gil Hodges finally in the Hall of Fame, after so many years, a player who Jackie Robinson called the soul of the Brooklyn Dodgers. He is more than deserving of the call. He ranks second in Dodgers franchise history with 361 home runs. He ranks second with 1,254 RBIs. And me personally, I've always been a big Hall guy, but even if you're a small Hall guy, Gil Hodges deserves to be in Cooperstown. Bottom line, he was the best first baseman of his era. He was the best first baseman in Major League baseball for over a decade the numbers they bear that out but you know i bring my facts to the fight so let's take a look at the numbers from 1948 to 1959 gil hodges led all major league first basemen in home runs with 344 rbis with 1186 total bases with 3184 extra base hits with 669 runs 1032 hits 1780 so to me, if you are the best first baseman of your era for over a decade, you belong in the Hall of Fame. And then you add what he was able to do as a manager. In 1969, he led the Miracle Mets to the biggest upset the sport has ever seen. The Mets had won 73 games the year prior, and then they followed that up by beating the 109-win Baltimore Orioles team in the World Series. And that was the biggest upset that the sport has ever seen to this day. All of his players from that era they all say that they could not have won if it weren't for Gil Hodges so great player check great manager check and on top of everything else he was known to be an even greater person here's what Vin Scully had to say about Gil Hodges he said when one combines Gil's impressive and consistent play on the field his innovative managerial approach and leadership of the New York Mets culminating in the greatest upset in baseball history in 1969 and his unwavering commitment to his faith, family, country, and social justice, you have the rare instance of the ideal candidate. And that is coming from Vin Scully, the greatest to ever do it. He also had this to say about him during a broadcast. Always been thrilled and delighted for those members of the club who wound up in the Hall of Fame. There were two others I always hoped and prayed that I would see get into the Hall of Fame. Number one was Walter O'Malley. He was like a second father to me. And sure enough, on this day in 2008, Mr. O'Malley elected into the Hall of Fame. The other player who never made it absolutely breaks my heart. And that was Gil Hodges, the great first baseman of the Dodgers, who just never got a call. Let's go back to this one. So yeah, Vin's approval alone should just get you right in the Hall of Fame. You bypass the writers and everything, and you just get enshrined into Cooperstown. But if you need further proof as to why he should be a Hall of Famer, let's take an even deeper dive into his numbers. Now, for his career, Gil Hodges had a 273 batting average, a 359 on base percentage, a 487 slugging percentage, and had a career OPS of 846 in 18 seasons. His best season came in 1954. At age 
30 Hodges slash 304, 373, 579, had a 952 OPS and hit a career high 42 home runs and hit 130 RBIs and he finished 10th in the NL MVP voting. He ranked second among MLB players during the 1950s in home runs with 310 and RBIs with 1,001. He won the first three gold gloves for first baseman in history, 1957, 1958, and 1959. He was an eight-time All-Star. He hit 30 or more home runs six different times and 40 or more home runs twice. He knocked in more than 100 runs seven times, topping 120 RBIs twice. His 370 home runs are 12th among the 24 first basemen already in the Hall of Fame. From 1948 to 1959, Hodges led all Major League first basemen in home runs runs, runs batted in, total bases, extra base hits, and OPS. And when it comes to the Hall of Fame, Gil Hodges has received the most Hall of Fame votes from baseball writers for any player that hasn't been admitted yet. So that tells you everything you need to know. He has the numbers. He was one of the best players of his generation. So congratulations to Gil Hodges. So glad to see another Dodger make it to Cooperstown. And look, he should have been in in 1993. He actually had enough votes from the Veterans Committee, but Ted Williams didn't count Roy Campanella's vote because he wasn't present for the meeting because he was in the hospital he ended up dying three months later so he should have actually got in at the very least in 1993 by the veterans committee but look he's in now it's all that matters and we're happy about it but let me know down below in the comment section who is another dodger that you think belongs in the hall of fame uh, oral hershizer fernando valenzuela and also what current dodgers do you think will make it into cooperstown one day let me know down below in the comment section my name is doug mccain you can follow me on twitter and instagram at dmac underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to gearup.la, download the Dodgers Nation app for my Android and iPhone users, and until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.